फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द क्लास ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग रिकॉम्बिनेंट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिकॉम्बिनेंट डी एन ए हाउ इट हैज बिन मेड द रिकॉम्बिनेंट दैट कैन बी डन थ्रो दिस मेकिंग द डी एन ए विच इज रिकॉम्बिन दिस रिकॉम्बिनेंट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी रिक्वायर मेनली द टू कंपोनेंट वन इज the vector and another one is the insert here vector may be your circular or linear in nature vector is just acting like a like a vehicle to carry the gene of this vector which is acting as a vehicle for uh, carrying the gene of interest may be either circular or linear in nature circular it will be your uh, plasmid which is double stranded dna intact in nature while linear it may be certain viruses like m13 which is single stranded phase vector may be of uh, various types based on the like plasmid which is may be the circular in nature and another may be the phage viruses based phage viruses based again here that there are two types may be one is lambda phage which is double stranded dna and another one m13 based which is single stranded dna lambda phage which is having double stranded dna having the sticky end that is the cos site here this is of 12 base pair sticky in nature based on this the plasmid and the phage virus which is here the cos site we are combining this plasmid and cos site to form a combined one this cos and this plasmid to form this cosmid this cos site and coming in cosmid from the lambda phage of cos this one while this phage mid this this mid it is coming from the plasmid region so this here combine cosmid here you can see this is coming from the plasmid here in case of this phage me plasmid it's uh, forming the cfu that is your colony forming unit here in case of the plasmid there is a no lysis of the cells recombinant dna takes place but while in case of the phage there is a lambda phage this the there is a lysis of the cells while there is a maintaining of the problem so we can have the much better that is your recombinant having the overall the combined one that is 37 to 52 kilo base pair of the recombinant one here we can get accommodate modulate the in another way in another way we can say the cosmid is the hybrid of the lambda phage cos site and the plasmid another further advancement that is based on the viruses that is the phage mid and phage mid this two here phage mid this phage mid again it's coming from the single stranded dna that is m13 while phage mid is based on the lambda phage double stranded dna already 
that is this one this phage meat is m13 ori while phage meat is having the lambda phage ori further with the advancement of the vector here the based on the artificial chromosomes this one so this three that is pack this is p1 phage artificial chromosome back bacterial artificial chromosome yak that is yeast artificial chromosome so here we can see this pack that is p1 artificial chromosome back bacterial artificial chromosome yeast artificial chromosomes here we can see from the very beginning that is your plasmid phage cosmid phage mid phage mid pack and till the back it's uh, here all for the prokaryote while if you are going to clone the insert in eukaryote these this uh, will not be helping so there is a need of certain artificial chromosome based that is your yeast artificial chromosome it will be helping where we can see the splicing splicing which is a characteristics of the eukaryote so here we can get it here in case of the vector as we are increasing from the upward to the downward there is a insert size insertion is going to be increased in the vector as we know in the eukaryote there are the certain genes we are which are more than more in size that is more than one kilo base pair or we can say there are certain in uh, more than uh, up to 1000 kilo base pair also sometimes so there is a need to increase or we can say 100 kilo base pair here we can see the maximum insert side in various vectors like this lambda phage the lambda phage having the insert size of this 5 to 25 kilo base pair lambda cosmic it is up to the 35 to 45 likewise p1 is uh, up to 100 and this pack it is up to uh, average we can say 100 and up to 300 likewise back uh, 300 and yak is uh, approximately maybe up to 2000 kilo base pair but as we are increasing the size there is a stability problem with this we are, if, if we are coming to the vector first one the plasmid that is pbr322 there are the various types of plasmid this pbr it's a p is small this uh, stands for the bolivar this P for plasmid, this for Bolivar, this Rodjik, it's a number. Likewise, uh, this P for plasmid, U for university, C for California. Since it has been developed in the University of California, that's why its name. 